This is making moves. And we're 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. So what's the plan? Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank series. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office, no matter, from a bicycle. Oksala, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One, Zanzi for sure. So you've got four minutes to present your business to the judges. Thank you. I'm basically responsible as the main person uh, for external sales. We also have a department that focuses on costs and finances, as well as human resources. We've got about 40 seconds, are you done? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. In terms of the numbers, how is that going to grow the business? How big is it going to grow the business? What is it going to mean to the turnover of the company? Hands are employees' most valuable working tools. As the economy of the country becomes more industrialized, hands protective equipment becomes a necessity. Hi, my name is Jaoja Loseboni. I'm the founder of a company called Aluda Safety. We offer gloves into the high-risk, heavy-duty industries. And our gloves are designed to lower cost and to improve productivity. We do that by focusing on materials that offer the highest levels of cut, puncture, and impact resistant on the market. If you want to get a hold of us, we're easy on triple W, also on social media, we are there as Aluda Safety. You can get a hold of us on, on those platforms. Today we're spending time with an entrepreneur who supplies gloves to companies that do heavy duty work, such as these factories behind me. We are going to get business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get into the business where we are going to get Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to check out today. Uh, what's up, my name? How about now? What's up, what a business? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, you changed our dynamics of business. Like. Yes. You move from a general to a specialized product. Yes. I'm a club. Yeah. What prompted that move? You never went to decide to fungo as a local. Because Kenya is special, Kenya is unique to my clients, Kenya is the go to person. Mm -hmm. So when you're a general dealer, mm -hmm. eventually you compete on price. Mm -hmm. So I needed to, to be unique yeah. in the market. And we started seeing that the highest consumption mm -hmm. of AMA PPE products yeah. is it's gloves. Uh -huh. And then we started focusing on that. Mm -hmm. And that's where we found our niche and decided to, to focus on selling gloves. It is essential since you only focus on the automation. Business has been better. People are giving us more respect and more credibility because all focus are on to you become sort of a specialistic ion. 
Umasenhlangene la ekhaya nibangaki benza ini mabe bonke. So ke bereka le nensi le sheli le lizet. So mereka bona simpolo ko no me khasho gore information so re kra di leads ke di leads di tla ba di qualifier and then after qualification I will go out there and close the deals le di di client. Khakhelo that is ni aso fa yo bosses ni that's just a fact. The rest of the span, but also the span, the end scalpel and by the other end, so I can do a deal to um 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 to us complete the crime. Nee, so and that is the deal from our span. So I scalpel good and I learn on spaya. So without span work, it can't be worth it. Yeah, that is. I say that our leader of this story, more than what he is our boss. This is our warehouse. Uh, yeah, this wow. is where the magic really happens. This is sample jar, you know. And some of the samples we get go to because one of the things every drunk or client before Tomo Barakaliona remove the sample, test it yes. before you buy. Ah, you know, you see, so I get some just Yeah. So, um, Dawa, but man, I'm a customer. Things are not going to be easy. So, Renari focus the more the client in jail or the banale high risk. And then we have a heavy duty equipment, more mm -hmm. the mining, more mm -hmm. uh, the modi, modi manufacturing plant. But we have a kind of more, you know, like the body butcher, our machine, our roll runs and that. So we are nice to make sure our material they don't get cut inside. Yeah. And one another thing that we do, uh, product jar nakamoka, they they come kind size. Mm. So our general purpose okay. type of glass. So yeah. it's from size six. Right through to size 11. Because he, uh, Amanda, um, seven to accuses and kinza. Yeah. So, and, and actually, one of the, the things very, very kisha and very kisha. Um, we say, you know, your hands are, are, the, are the most sophisticated working tool that you have. Mm. And, and add no replacement. Mm. You know, that's one of the reasons why we make sure our product here of Angiona is always quality yeah. and, and, and doing the work. Okay. The safety of our employees comes first. That's uh, the culture of the company. More autonomous Veltex. We're working on uh, based on uh, three codes before we order. And uh, in that sense, we, reg we regard the client as our employees. We have to like, give them a comfortable PPE. At the end of the day, they have to be comfortable, safe, and then if our kotsofali got the product they go wrong or and we have to change it aluda company as my supplier ya the gloves as well as the arm sleeves and up to so far service here has been perfect and our delivery has been uh, on point well the pricing point of it the money why is is high but when coming to quality I think it delivers 100 percent. Okay. I, 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 I don't agree that, that that is the most efficient and the, 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 the strongest growth. I mean, I think what would you suggest? Zalbaga kau kela bangos sama bisnis. Wana kebaca lagi kaza. Eli kulu gak kulu. Kau nak impi luar yang lencis. Ukau kelu ya show guti. Uba bawa ke. Wai sesi emenza guti. Avu emisi nama lang. Akezi motor ke. Gepam gogo guti ke. Yenam ayes kolin. Lencis wai ya show guti. Kau nke logo bebemenzi sago naga sakul. Angak tuzil. Coba ke nak wal ngal toli ke. I tu bel ningi logo tamba jala nezi nezi ngan. Gotu wai ya show guti. Kau bawa bawa bagus kat. Wabo na guti kwa nke lupa bimfundi sagwana. Hinto ya mkwa waga kulu. Chua segmenze guti ya nage. Ako wa zubayin. Sizu wagi. Eko.
That's how we start the day. Just to release some tension and work stresses. It's the best way to do it. So, Karato Jim. Karato Jim Kapiluanga Kamoka. I love going out and Rekejwa Kenya Kono Dulalvatu, you know, not necessarily the club or anything. Kerato Telavatu or Kerata Vatu Revan Ketela, Runu Dula, Runu Vlela, Kalaif, Mush. Roger Rilkamoka, Soretrajo Vakamoka, Lechamoka in Tiang Radio Rilk House Lerina, Rabachan. In his teens, he was not. Kerato experimenta deal. Korve Kerato no. Just to give it different. I think the Ranja took a ball. And then high school, I got introduced to rugby. And that was my sport. Uh, little day, the sport so long, I still enjoy. That's uh, about the only sport I did, cause uh, athletics were never vanchi. I'm a regiti, I'm a mar ne vanchi. How are you? Draw up a local one. Can we let you share zone three? No, let's show. It was tough, cause I didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, and I went to. I didn't know what I was like. Uh, what I spoken and a control of situations. He's quite bossy. Uh, at times he likes uh, he, he likes so much for things to go his way. As na monto mo patient too much, ke 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 results driven, you know. So Kenya kubona di lo di diru wa right now. Ke na monto lo reke na le idea kamo tlo onyaka. I wake up whatever the time is of the day, I write it down, and el chaji li thaba Kenya kubona di diru, and Kenya kubona di results, whether they are good or bad. Kenya kubona di results. His love of business, I think, comes from, from, from his mother and his parents, basically, because they're both business people. Greg hey, uh, Iwabamboja from late or early, early 70s. He was in the driving school, the supermarket, the coal yard. And then, when he was in the supermarket, he was in the supermarket. Uh, they were they were the Banalidi farms, Jadihogo. Yeah, so that's that's the background here about Swadi Bak. Mr. Zaholi ke Krege, ke family, and ke business here. Lentizuale <laughs> So I'm at the offices just making moves, get what I can only Pepsi. To be honest, get you a little nyana, but I don't know, we'll see what conversation it's a major. I look forward to it. Are you? 
Kaukelo's entrepreneurship journey started around 2005, operating from the boot of his car. After experimenting with different ideas, he's finally found a business that works. He's here to fill us in about his hand safety gloves business and what it took to get to where it is. Kaukelo, welcome to Making Moves. Shabu Rampoy. I'm right, you? I'm not. Sure, sure. Shabu, shabu, shabu. Take a seat. Man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You look like you were a rugby player. Yeah, I used to. Not a lot of rugby. Yeah. What school did you go to? I went to Huar Lumber School, Kushke. Huar Lumber School, Kushke. Kushke in yeah. Pretoria. No, it was in Polokwan. Was it in Polokwan? Yes. Okay, where you played rugby. Yes, I did. So your business, let's let's talk about kind of where it's at right now. If you had to assess your business, what are the three kind of biggest strengths and, and growth opportunities in your business? If I have to look at my strength right now, is the fact that we specialize in a, a commodity or a product. Um, one of our strengths is our ability to, to sell um, premium products in a commodity market. Um, we, we've got a small team, but very agile. Okay, so when I lay a premium product, mm -hmm. you don't have anything that's uh, bottom end, you know, so so in order to deal with clients, so as a client, it would be good for me to have a choice. Yes. But okay, Mamela, you can buy the genuine part, give mm Ghana, -hmm. get the benefits of the genuine part. Mara, if you find that you can't afford it, here's an alternative that is cheaper, but this is what you lose by going with the cheaper product. That way, you're starting to protect your bottom end hanyani. Yeah. yeah. So we'll still do that. So our focus on the products that we work, it's more on the type of material we use. So the material itself will have different variations, a higher end and a lower end. But at the end of the day, we still give you that material which is high performing rather than to substitute it in total. So yes, we do cover those ranges, but it will still be a little bit more expensive than the cheaper, products that come in from other countries. Okay, but now, Khawkala, that, that concerns me in terms of the growth of the business. We've got a few factors thick here. The industry is becoming more competitive. Yes. Khawkala products that are more China and where not, and other places that are cheaper than what you're offering. Yes. Even if Khawkala range, range ya how is still more expensive than inferior products. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard trying to explain to people, Khawkala, no, no, Mamela, in the long run, how can I get an inferior product? You're going to be spending more money because it doesn't last as long and it's not as safe, etc., etc. Yeah. What's the plan to try and protect your business? We've associated ourselves with industry leaders. I mean, even if you look at the way we do our marketing, whether it's on our website, whether it's through other medias, we always make sure that we bring forth the latest data. I mean, we talk about people who manufacture products, uh, uh, materials. We talk about companies that are, are leading in terms of health and safety. They come about and they give on this information up front. Mm. And then from there, from that data, we come up with products that are sort of uh, dealing but you're not coming up with products. You're briefing your supplier in the US yes. and saying, here's the research, Kupali, it's saying the yes. product airing, it's so, 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 yes, so. that's so. exactly Which is you. fine. I mean, yeah. I, I, for me, I'm thinking, well, I mean, unless you're losing a massive margin, there's no need to start manufacturing yourself. But protective clothing is quite broad. There's everything from hard hats to protective suits to masks to all sorts of other things that are broader than just the glove. Yeah. Why have you chosen not to offer clients a broader range of products as opposed to saying it was specialized? Is it not dangerous to purely specialize, especially if you're specializing in a space where there are other competitors and there are substitute products? It, why, why have you chosen that? It always sounds good to do to offer the entire service. But what I've seen for our business is that the moment you do that, you dilute yourself and people don't know you for who you are. Currently, our market and our product get that love. So that doesn't stop us from going from the glove to other ranges. Currently, we're saying we're doing hand safety. Okay. So we've got a glove for mining, mm -hmm. we've got a glove for exploration, we've got a glove for a mechanic, we've got a glove for medical waste or needle resistant. We've got gloves for police. Uh, we've got gloves for the kitchen. Mm. We've got, I mean, it's different industries. Okay. That is currently what we're doing. Mm. So 
you're working on an ISO 9001, I think, yes. uh, uh, um, certification. Yes. Why? For quality. Okay. Um, we want to implement ISO 9001 for simple reasons. When you make a phone call to us, I need to know that you're satisfied. Whoever that's handling your call or your needs takes care of you. So you want to improve the systems in your business and use that certification process to be able to achieve that, is that yeah. correct? ISO 9001, I believe, will help us, like you said, you know, take us through the tests uh, and ensure that there's strength within the organization, how we sell, how we deal with complaints, how we deliver, the time we take to deliver, if there's an error or the delay in deliveries, where is the problem? Because we want to make sure that the, the buyer's journey is, is, is an exciting one. But you're making money, reasonable, you are comfortable because it's working. But market conditions are changing, evolving all the time, and I don't feel like there's a solid plan in place to grow this business and protect this business. Like just, just describe to me what that plan is. Yeah. We, had a, we have a five-year plan. What is it? So, and it's, it's two years running now, so we're left with three years. In that five years right now, we're saying continue building trusts amongst the clients that you're dealing with or new customers. Then from there on, develop your own product that, is, that identifies with, with the five years that you've done. So, so the history, the data that you, you take from the clients to say, we're looking for this kind of a product. Then come up with your own and manufacture. That is our plan. Okay? I, 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 I don't agree that, that that is the most efficient and the, 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 the strongest growth. I mean, I think... What would if, you suggest? Well, I think, listen, manufacturing, you've got something that's working. Okay. So if I had to say, what's a priority? Priority for me mm -hmm. would be to take your trusted clients or the clients that trust you, mm -hmm. that you've got multi-year relationships with, yes. and begin to upsell them yep. and create an ad different product lines outside of gloves, so that a Rio Tinto, who's a client, a Glencore, who's a client, is now not just buying one product from you, they're buying several products from you. Yes, I understand. Yep. I've said to you, we are a safety textile business, so meaning gloves is just a byproduct. Yeah, but you haven't spoken enough of that in terms of your growth plan. And I think, for me, mm -hmm. if I had to say, I'm giving you 10 million today, yeah. How are you going to use it? If you said to me, I'm going to manufacture, I'd say not yet. Let's add two or three more product lines yeah. because we're saying we're a safety textile business. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're not a safety textile business. We're a glove business. Yeah. I've really enjoyed the conversation no, with you. Thank you. I'm going to send you off to chat to a friend of mine for a coaching session and, you know, also swap some ideas and brainstorm. Appreciate it, man. Uh, but well done. You're, you're running a fantastic business and Appreciate I think it. you've got amazing growth prospects. Thank and you. And I look forward to seeing more of what you do in the future. Appreciate it. All right, boy. Thanks, man. Shop, shop. Sure, sure. Even though Jaugelo's business is doing well, he wants to upgrade his operational system to make it compliant with ISO 9000. This will give his business a competitive edge above his competitors. I'm sending him to a coaching session to get advice on how to fully capitalize on his already existing and very impressive clientele. When I came here, I had no idea what we were gonna talk about. I thought it's a, you know, it's sort of a structured type of interview, but I found that it is, it, it's, it's from somebody with a wealth of knowledge. Um, gave me a lot of perspective, some things to think about. You know, like, like in a business, it's a continuous change. So I think uh, I, what I learned from there is just a matter of going back and tweaking and changing what I thought was a good plan already. So it does help to come out here and speak to people. So if you get sick tomorrow for the next coming two weeks and that, what happens? Joe says money leg leo interview. Uhau hello uti and agama challenges up again now, good yen. Hello kal, ufuna we improve the staff sack. Always be la funu gwens. Uguti yena, ufuna guguti abe ne zimpata eza tluga tlugen, ezo msiza uguze yena age, agwazu kuheha ama kasment, futigi agwazu mjontobalisa ni biznis laki.
Jenga manje guzo shara pansi nomke kishu wetu. Yena gazo mnigeza isi ngebiso zoguti ya nage. Anga kulisa ganja ni business laki. Futige afage mapiga ma products. Kyo na inkampani yake. to build a trusted company where employees would know that by using products that we, we develop or supply, you know, they, they can have trust and, and know when they go home, they go home as, as, as safe as, as the way they came in mm. in the morning. That mm. is my vision. Mm. The, the secret in your business lies in that who you employ has got to be a person that carries the same values. But as things stand at the moment, how is the business doing? Financially, I would say we're doing very well. Uh, there's growth, mm. consistent growth for, yeah. for the past few years. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of, of, of getting the people to, to really understand and, and, and go with the vision, I mm. think uh, that's why I'm struggling. And I think I made mention to various people before. Mm. His one problem is that he's got a problem with communicating the vision to the people. So yeah, it's something to think about, but I'll only engage on that once I know that my quality management checks are, are in place. You spend much of your time in sales. Yes. And you are at the moment really the most um, active salesperson in your team. I don't do everything on my own. I'm currently I'm the chief experience officer, meaning I'm the head of sales. Um, that is where my passion lies. I'll continuously, for as long as I've got the energy, continuously be involved in the running of the sales. So if you get sick tomorrow for the next coming two weeks and that, what happens? The team that works with me yeah. understands every single thing that I do. Yeah. So for example, I I will never go visit a client without anyone Taking of my assistant of okay. knowing what is going on. So they will need to have more information yes. about the client. So I think at the moment, you know, that that is that is helping us. So mm. if I go off sick for two weeks or whatever, I know they should be able to continue. They will be able to continue. I'm however again worried by the fact that in this type of sector your clients are driven more by price than anything and at this moment you are uh, producing or selling a product that is manufactured outside of the country yes. which makes you a little bit more expensive than the other guys I'm, I'm not convinced though that he cannot use uh, people that are immediate in the region and that and um, he's paying too much he's paying dollar prices to to bring in his uh, uh, stock and that and that causes him to have to to sell in dollar uh, prices and that which makes him uh, it will eventually price him out of the market so he need to consider that um, a little bit mixture of, 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 of the two and that will do the business well where he's got a little bit of both and then he he can be able to be okay pricing wise. I would like you to, to look at more manufacturers. Okay. Um, at first, Lesotho and that has got a lot of Chinese manufacturers who have got experience in the sector as well, in the PPE sector. Uh, have a look there as well. Uh, one thing you want to do is that you want to cut costs as much as you can yes. because already there isn't enough margins to play around with in, in, in that space, in that sector. You tie it on the margins and that you need to look at your cost very closely and that. I agree with you. What are the plans for the 50K? Okay. We want to implement the ISO 9001. Okay. And, and ideally, with an implementation of ISO 9001, we would, we would be able to have a, a department or a section that entirely just focuses on quality. Yeah. In your pitch, you need to, to state it clearly what impact will the certification uh, or the ISO certification have on the business. Okay. I would like you to show that uh, in terms of money, how much um, is it going to increase your turnover as a business? Um, what impact is it going to have in terms of reputation as a business and that? Um, I need you to, to show um, 
how you, how much you've reinvested also into the business look into your finances and that and and look at them very honestly and and go very detailed on them because if someone is going to spend money in your business they want to see where every cent is going into they want to see that you're doing your budgets they want to see you stick into the they want to see management accounts and that so please in that pitch make sure that these are the issues that really appear in your pitch and that um, when when you said I must I must look at my numbers in, a, in an honest and a holistic way, I, I realize that, you know, there, there is some, some, something to work with there. Do show it as well in your milestones of where we were and where we're trying to go as the business. I'll do that. And Hamakal, I wish you very well uh, for tomorrow. I wish you the best of luck and, uh, and, and, and with your business as well. I think it's a very unique business. Um, you've chosen a market that is very specialized in that and you are bound to do well. Uh, thank you. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. What I take with me is, is that I need to constantly review my numbers because my approach must always be that I'm talking to an investor. So it mustn't just be that I'm running my business alone. Yeah. So it's all about going back into detail. I think, I think the, the core of, of that whole conversation was that, you know, how do you spend your money? So yeah, it was, it was, it was quite valuable for me. Why not just spend the money? Because that is what is going to ensure that the business grows. Hey, how's it, man? Sharp, sharp. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture. Yeah, I'm going Is this something else you're going to get a picture part of your page? Yeah, I'm going to get a picture immediately, so they don't ask me too many tough questions. Too many tough questions? Okay. I'm going to get a picture. Oh, calm. Is it part of being nervous or is it part of just being cool, calm, collected? No, when you're about to close a good deal, or what? Mm. so you must just relax and, and have a serious face. Okay, yeah. that's your game face. Yeah. Okay, put on here. I guess one good one is that I'm going to go and get a little bit of a bagel. All the best, eh? Thank you, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Making Moves. Good afternoon, sir. Sharp, what grand? I'm all right. No, Sharp. So you've got four minutes to present your business to the judges. You know Lucas on my far left and Martine on my immediate left. Uh, yeah, your four minutes starts now. Thank you. I'm from a company called Aluda Safety. We are a hands-on company. We focus our attention on producing high quality products that can ensure that employees go home in a safe way as though they left at home. Our company structure is a simple flat one. Although I'm the managing director, I'm also the chief experience officer or the main head or the main salesperson. I'm assisted by two people very competent and what they do is they do market research on our behalf and also confirm appointments on my behalf and that allows me time and enough data before i can go out and visit clients if you look at on the side uh, i'm basically responsible as the main person uh, for external sales and we are supported by an outsourced marketing team and a crm that we've invested in as an organization with that information that we get from the CRM and the marketing, we are able to work as a team and gather the data that we need before we approach a client. That makes us better understand the client's needs. We also have a department that focuses on costs and finances as well as human resources. And that team 
in itself comprises of people that do special projects, as well as people who manage the warehouse to ensure that the delivery of the products is, is efficient. That is the simple way in which we run our organization. Our business model is this. We focus our attention on high value clients, meaning clients that encounter a lot of injuries in the workplace, that understand that it is important to keep employees safe. Those are our target market. We also have what we call the medium risk client, um, who are also looking for protection, but their workplace is not as dangerous as the other one that I made um, reference to. Okay, Khokhele, you've got about a minute and a half left, okay. so uh, cool. you want to hurry it along. Cool. Um, so we are in need of money so that we are able to improve our processes. Um, currently, we have a problem where the continuity is an issue in the organization where we are not sure what's going to happen. By implementing a system called an ISO 9001 of 2015, we will be able to ensure that there's quality management system, which will, one, uh, ensure that we, we, we improve on efficiency. We also build on capacity building. So we came here to make a move to ensure that uh, we get assistance in that funding so that we, we are able to implement the ISO 9001 so that we can improve our quality. That is the main reason why we're here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you've got about 40 seconds. Are you done? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Cool. How much does it cost to go through your ISO 9001 certification? Okay. Currently, with the latest products that we, uh, the quotations we got, it goes just a little bit over 110,000 rand. Okay. So that is the cost that we have at the moment. Your ISO is the critical part of what you do at the moment in order for you to get the business to the next stage. Yes. Why not just spend the money because that is what is going to ensure that the business grows. Although we have the money in our account, technically speaking it's not ours. Uh, we are, we've got new contracts which we signed last year and part of the contract is that we need to have minimum stocks available in the warehouse. So that money will be used as a commitment to ensure that when a client needs something immediately we are able to deliver. That is the reason why we are unable to use every single cent that we have in our account. That you're is sitting with 100,000 rand in the bank yeah. and you're not wanting to spend 100,000 to maximize your business. Yeah. Because we work with blue chip clients, um, one of the biggest challenges we have is the payment term. So they take a little bit longer to pay us as an organization. So some of the funds will be used for operational costs. And because on the contract clauses, it states that we need to have minimum quantities available. We are afraid that if we spend every cent that we have, we might not be able to operate as efficiently as we'd love to. Okay. In terms of the numbers, how is that going to grow the business? How big is going to grow the business? What is it going to mean to the turnover of the company? So first and foremost, ISO 9001 allows you credibility and gives you competitive edge. That in itself opens doors for more contracts and more blue chip companies. Because as an organization, as a small company, there's always fear that as a small company, you will not have enough funds to run the organization. Uh, we've given this young man a sufficient amount of time. Appreciate We're going it. to liberate and then uh, ask you to come back in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I was not happy at the four minutes I got. I think I, I was too relaxed. Um, I didn't cover the pointers, but I think I covered it up when the questions came in. I still think I have a chance. Um, in fact, I know I still have a chance. So, yeah, I'm ready. Brother, man. Sure, man. Mm. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. What's wrong? What's going through your mind? What's going through my mind is, yeah. is I didn't nail it as I would have loved to. All right. I, I found that to be quite an impressive pitch, so I'm going to speak up front and say that I am biased. <laughs> I like the business. Uh, let me just put it out there. What do you guys think? I really don't think it's about liking the business or not, Pepsi. 
Um, and I think the I entrepreneur think it's a great, is bloody fantastic. Great entrepreneur, great business, phenomenal business to be. So you didn't go for the Chagui level? No. And yeah. I think I think that's where I lost it a bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy because um, that question time me. Yes. Um, they got to understand a little bit of what is it that I need from the mm -hmm. you know, um, shelter board. Yes, sir. <laughs> but he doesn't need the money. He doesn't need the money. No. Not with the yeah. thousand sitting in your account. What did you think of that? Do you think you elaborated enough about Kazele Gabanzu to why you didn't use your own money? Yeah, I give a I mean, yeah. they should understand what I'm a business person. Yes, I need sir. to use other people's money to make <laughs> more money. Yes, sir. You know, that is just the basics of, uh, of business. Yeah, Baba. My thing is that we only have got 50K. We need to find someone who really needs 50K, where 50K is really going to make a difference in that business. You're both contradicting yourselves because you just said to me he lost deals last year because he didn't have his 9001 certification. Well, because he didn't, he, didn't he didn't prioritize. He didn't prioritize. He, didn't he had prioritize. money in the bank. It wasn't an issue of having money. No. It was an issue of not prioritizing Correct. Correct. what he could have done and what he could have paid. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right, let's call him back in. Before you go in. What do you think the judges will say? Based on the closing, yeah, the presentation, the last 10 seconds, yeah. I think they'll call me back. They'll call you back? I think I'm going to go for the kill, yeah. Well, I put one. OK. For you too? Sure, sure. He said, in the end, I'll use what I'm going to do. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thanks, man. Sure, sure. 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 From loving Selkorn, it looked like a great pitching man. In this way, you're going to ask me, I guess we are not much as we to But Welcome back, man. Thank you. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how do you think you did? I did a six. Did a six? Yes. Do I agree? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe around a six. Um, why don't you have your ISO certification yet? I, I never paid too much attention to understanding the needs of my business. I was too much in the business and not looking over the business. Okay. All right, so... I'm going to give you just advice and my view and an opinion. Get SABS approval, get the ISO certification. You have a choice to make in terms of the growth of your business right now. Do you continue to specialize? And if you're going to continue to specialize on gloves, then what you need to do is fast track to the manufacturing phase because that then becomes your next growth area yes. and if you're going to do that there's a lot of money the DTI has got that black industrialists program mm -hmm. tap into some of those government incentives you could end up building a manufacturing plant for far less of your own money or private investment than you realize and I think you've got to make a choice as to which of those parts you're going to take in terms of which is a priority right now I appreciate it. Does that. that make sense? Thank you. Okay, cool. Yeah, for me, Kalkhello, I think I just want you to pay very close attention to the priorities, how you prioritize things within your business, yes, particularly because of the business that you've lost out on. Yes. Um, I mean, that an alarm bell should be ringing, and I'm, I have to reiterate it um, over and over because it is extremely important. Those, those are the alarm bells as em entrepreneurs that we miss out on, and then we miss out on the big opportunities. Yeah. Both the ISO 9000 and your product approval is both done by the SABS. Okay. okay. The 9000 says that the organization has got systems which will help it to be sustainable and uh, be able to be consistent in the service that they deliver. The product approval says, the product testing says that this product meets the specification of a glove of the product that you are selling. Okay. Now those are two separate processes that you need to do. Okay. Okay. Don't be taken for a ride. 
Um, the ISO process is going to take your business anything between six months to 12 months to implement for your business. Yes. Consultants, you pay in monthly for that period of time. Okay, so you can do that. I'm still not convinced that the price that they charge you for it, it's a fair price. All right. However, you don't have to pay for an ISO certification yourself. So you've got CEDA STP program, um, which is in Pretoria. You've got the Productivity SA. They have got also a program that they help your organization to get ISO certificate. You don't have to pay a cent from your pocket for ISO certifications. So Appreciate it. All right, young man. So. Um We're not going to continue with your business in the competition, not because it's not a great business. If you gave me an opportunity to invest in your business yeah. right now, I would. I yeah. would. I would. So would I'd, I. I'd write you a check immediately. <laughs> it would probably bounce, but I would write it immediately. <laughs> okay. The issue is that you don't really need this money to do this ISO certification. Mm -hmm. You've got the money, you just haven't paid attention mm -hmm. to getting it done. So go and do your ISO certification, go and do your SABS certi uh, product testing and get it done. I really, I mean, I took a look at your website, I took mm. a look at your business. I think you are an example to young Absolutely. entrepreneurs watching this show and aspirant entrepreneurs of Absolutely. what you can do as a young black business person and what's possible. And I think Absolutely. he's a great entrepreneur Thank Thank himself. No. I think he's a great entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, so it is a successful business. It, 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 can, it can move uh, uh, much to greater highs from here. Great. All right, young man, you've got three groupies totally into you and your business. Thank you. Thank you for walking this journey with us, and I wish you the best of luck, man. No, I appreciate it. Gentlemen, ma'am, thank you. appreciate the time. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, sir. All right. Their feedback, I was not impressed with it because I feel I'm being penalized for something that I shouldn't be. Um, we need the money. On the, in the same breath, I say, I take what they said uh, positively and I'll try and implement it. Because if there is money available and we don't have to spend our own money, then, then I'll go for it.